Hello guys and welcome back to The Moon Sliver. It's a great thing that the name of the game is written up in the corner, otherwise I would have forgotten it. We're exploring this ruin thingy, my yingy. Well, not ruin. This is apparently some type of, um, shackle thing. The word of Hector IV. Again, the moon came to Hector in a dream. The woodland teeth is vanquished, it said. Your people are safe for now, but it still waits. Lurking in the depths. It fears the moon's lover, and will not dare to appear again while the holy document remains in your possession. But notice, should the moon's lover ever be destroyed, even my divine light will not be able to save you from the wrath of the woodland teeth in the darkness of hell. Keep it safe, keep it ready. And may you live in prosperity on this island that I have given you. Let your prosperity be a sign that the words I speak are true. So, in the previous part, we found out that there was like two people, like four people living here on this island, and um, there was like a moon sliver thing in my yingy that was taken or something, I don't know. And we're like, no one knows who took it, because no one admits that they took it. Now it's dark. So yeah. Oh, it's lovely. It's dark, I think. I think we should return to the mountain side, because uh, it's dark. Stark and we should rest. Or whatever. What's this? This is nothing. Yesterday, four people lived in the cell, like the only one who was. Yeah. Is this the first? Oh, it's the first. Oh, it's where we started. Never mind. We don't have a lot of battery left, but I don't know if that matters, actually. Oh, we're going in here and away to the mountainside, because apparently that's the thing we should do. No. Well, it's, it's night, is it not? Ha! Huh. I definitely saw light shining in from the windows inside, and now they're barricaded outside. And you're like, what? Look, there's nothing there. Isa could not talk to Abel about her feelings, because Abel was overburdened with his own. So she often sat at her desk and wrote. She did not know who would ever read her papers. But there was something profound about preserving thoughts, so that they would live long after there was no one around to read them. What? That actually worked! <laughs> what? I am not complaining, but what? I was just guessing. Oh well, I'm not complaining. Oh no. Ella was uneasy. The darkness had never felt as menacing before. It seemed alive. Watchful. Oh, bloody hell. That worked. But I don't want to go in there. Yet. But yeah, yeah, I solved the puzzle. Good, eh? Told you it was relatively easy. What am I supposed to go there? Ellie? Daniel's voice echo around the tunnels. Silence. She couldn't explain the feeling. It was as though something was lurking around every corner. I certainly hope not. Daniel heard a soft scratching footsteps behind him. He turned and shined his flashlight around the tunnel. Nothing. Maybe I'm supposed to go through the hatch, actually. I have to do that before. Before we progress, anyway. I heard that there were, well, like I read, there wasn't actually necessary to go through the hatch. It's just to give more depth to the story. So let's do that. I don't know. I'm trying, I'm trying to keep watch of where the hell I'm going, so I don't lose myself. What was the code? That's they had to know the truth, and Hector would not tell it, so down here, where nobody would find him, he wrote on scraps of paper. Maybe someday, someone would discover them. Right. I do believe my flashlight is dying. Completely wrong. I do believe it's dying. 
Damn, it looks scary when you don't have it on. Nothing here. Let's go here then. I think it leads to the same place anyway, but... The family of rats lived amid the crates of dried food. They were perhaps the last animals alive. The last? The last? Good, is there anything here? Other than that? You know... This game would have been really scary if it was a horror game. Just saying, you know. Flash out the dice. Dark long corridors. I mean, fuck, I would have been terrified. There doesn't seem to be any horror elements to it. I hope. I hope, at least. I'm sorry if I'm laying here with a flashlight, I'm just trying to conserve energy while still trying to see where the hell I'm going. There's anything here. He called again. Ellie still knows her. But he heard the footsteps again. Who's spooky? I'm sorry, I'm gonna get lost, am I not? Who was this? A candle. He didn't even, knew. He didn't even have time to cry out. It's shadow silhouette in his flashlight beam plunging towards him. What? Well, someone died? Someone killed him? Hmm, maybe he was killed. Would explain a lot. Well, actually it wouldn't, it would just raise even more questions, but kinda would explain a lot, in a way. Sort of. Now I'm scared someone will do the same to me. Lovely, eh? <laughs> Well, it was interesting this game at least. I like it. Exploration at, at its finest. Really. Excuse me? Excuse me! No. Do not tell me. No. She felt its breath before she felt its claws. And then she was gone. What? Excuse me? Excuse me? What? Do I need to be afraid? What? I'm suddenly very afraid. I'm suddenly very afraid. I doubt anything happens, but... <laughs> you can't do that towards me, game. What the hell? I started growling. She never felt like this before. She knew these tunnels well. She had been down here hundreds of times, yet she was lost. Lost, confused, and afraid. Oh, so these are the combinations. Oh. Makes sense. It seems to turn dark. But to, to put it lightly. It seems to be dark. Yeah, return to the mountain. That's... We might as well. I can't be bothered to play more. Yeah. Okay, yeah, maybe I could be bothered to play more. Let's finish this. Oops. I still couldn't remember the last time she had been under the mountain. There was no reason to come here, but she had looked everywhere else. She clutched the old knife in her right hand. Yesterday the moon's liver went missing. Today, Ellie, Daniel and Abel will all know where to be found. 
She knew the word of Hector by heart. The sinister implications were not lost on her. And really. Hello, she called. Daniel? Abel? Abel heard her on heard and answered, I'm here. There was something strange about his voice, something I said in not like. What are you doing here? I'm reading of H's past, I said. Do you know where Ellen and Daniel are? she said. I do not, he said. They're missing, she said. They're missing, and the moon's lever is missing. Do you understand me? Do you understand what this implies? I do, he said. Night will fall in a few hours, and we need to stick together. We can sleep in the same house. Mine or yours. We keep the fire burning. We'll keep the door locked, and we will pray, Abel. We will pray to the unseen moon for mercy and protection. Are you happy here, I said. Cut stay in the dark. It thrives in the dark. Are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. Please, Abel. There were tears in his eyes, and he struggled to control his voice. I said, I know you. I know every inch of you, and I know every corner of your mind. You aren't happy. None of us are happy. I said, didn't respond. I'm staying here. The tears were flowing freely now. I would like it if you stayed with me. I said, please stay with me. I will, it will find you, Abel. I let it out, he said. I destroyed the moon's server. I saw shocked and silent. I burned yesterday after talked with Daniel. Her eyes were filling with betrayed, angry tears. What, Abel? No, why? Do you want to be dragged to hell? Do you want us to be dragged there with you? We're already in hell. The island is horrible, barren, lonely island. It's a place of sin. This is hell. I saw the blasphemous scraps of paper Jeremiah found. It was many years ago. I read them before they were destroyed. Perhaps I was the only one who did, and I did not believe them. But I have lived life since then, and I have seen the truth of their words. Isa could not respond, as tears streamed down her face. She just kept walking towards the sound of his voice, the knife clutched in her hand. You did not read the blasphemous scraps, Isa. But I did, and I remember them with incredible clarity. Supernatural clarity, even. Fear not a dark shadow or the scratches in the night, but a woman teeth is your salvation. It is your escape. I said there's some more, Isa. The woman teeth is not here to take us to hell. It is here to take us away from hell. She could see in my head, the flashlight beam cutting through the sick cliff fog. He was sitting on a chair, book on his lap. As she approached, she could see that he was crying too. I believe the word of Hector, she said, and I will not go to hell. Please trust me, please. I believe the word of Hector said again, and she put the knife to her chest, going to first. No. No, I said, please don't. Stay with me. Don't leave me alone. I love you. She spat therefore. I love you so much. She closed her eyes and pushed. She remembered where her heart was located, from one of her father's old books. Ava was too slow to catch her fallen body. He knelt beside her and sobbed for some time. He was not a strong young man anymore. His eyes as spotted was light. He would take her out of, to the water. She, has, she had always loved the water. But then what? Read? Read until he found him? No. He didn't feel like reading anymore. He was ready to be rid of this entire cursed island, books and all. He was simply wander, aimless and freely, to take one last look at the island and feel the wind blowing the memories away. And then when night fell, he would return. And wait. Oh. 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 This was good. This was good. I like this. It was good, really. It was good. I like this story. It was... I was a bit hesitant at first, but... And now I... I like it. Really. It's actually pretty fun. I wish it was longer, though. More to do or stuff. But I like it. It was fun. What's this? Morning dawn on Empt Island. Cold and bright and windy. Oh, it's more of this game. The moon's lover. Oh. Yeah, I like it. It's fun.
Yeah, guys, this was the Moon Sliver. I will leave a link to the purchase uh, site, because I do think this is a pay title. But anyway, I'll see you in the next episode of Devotees I Make. Bye for now.